in the Ever Dreamer's second movie is when Rosalie and Claire are at daycare. Uh, getting adopted and they got adopted by Edwina and Edwina was shown with a golden jacket on and when when Claire came it came we all know that Claire used to have a bracelet when she was first designed and and it was on this arm but the bracelet was removed since all episodes but there was one secret episode when the bracelet was shown in the movie, the bracelet was randomly shown on Claire's other arm. We all know that Viola sounds different sometimes. It has something to do with the voice actress. Viola is voiced by Ellen Streamery. The and she look she normally always voiced she, she always voiced Viola. And nobody else voiced Iona before. But she voices, she likes. Because, cause you know, in one of my random facts, in one of the videos, that I, one of my top 10 random facts about it, Ever Dreamers video. Oh, is me explaining you that Viona sounds different sometimes. And now I'm going to tell you why. Because normally in season one, one and two, she sounds like this. Yes, I'll make a scene where where she sounded one way. Uh, uh, yeah, what's wrong, Edwina? Why do you look worried? The recordings of her sounding like that from series one and two, and Ellen and Ellen Streamery voiced it, but in some Ever Dreamer songs. In, the, in one of the Ever Dreamers music videos and a few episodes in the TV series, she sounds like this. There's lots of books everywhere, as you see. Well, that's why we know. I said it sounded like me, didn't it? Yes. But I forgot to mention this. But Liz Lily voiced this. But Liz Lily voiced it. Who voiced the recording in of Dream Destinations is when is the only time and, and Viona is the only ever dreamer she voiced only one time. <laughs> Number three. Whichever dreamer will it be is one of my favourite ever dreamer cartoons to be around. And we all know about whichever dreamer will it be. Also, series is one is over. Over. And there's no more episodes those of season one. But there is a chance that they might make a series two of whichever dreamer will it be soon. Number four. In the episode called Kill the Bunny, a bunny was shown stealing Ever Dreamer's accessories. The same a bunny that look and a bun and and a bunny that looks similar to the bunny can be shown with the can 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 be shown in the Dweena's arms in one scene. Yeah, and it was been shown in the Everdreamers movie. The same money can also be shown. Own in the background. When Biona goes to the pet store, the same bunny can also be found. So there is a chance that this bunny might have been a pet. That this wild bunny might have really wants to be adopted so much that it still it probably steals the other of a dreamers as accessories like Viona, Rosalie and Starlene and it 
and it just wants to give them attention so we can adopt the, a wild bunny and the bunny was shown in beautiful times so then maybe num fact number four is the story of the bunny fact number five starling's pet meerkat strawberry was created at the same time as Starlene. Because in the early version of Starlene, she has a very old look at Meerkat. She looks all classic and she doesn't look an old but old design. Meerkat, which is strawberry. It was created at the same time as Starlene, and they are both voiced by Canadia. And another uh, cool thing is that Strawberry was originally going to be called Ice Cream. Because Starlene's favourite food is ice cream, they thought they would name their pets after their favourite foods. But then they changed it to Strawberry. That's because of the strawberry marking on his chest. They they switched his name to Strawberry after a few episodes of the Dreamers. Strawberry was the first ever pet. I'm going on for When they created the other... Also, when they created Viona, they decided to give a... Because they decided to give a pet in her hand, which was Drizzle. And Drizzle. And Drizzle was also created at the same time as Viona. But when she was first created, they didn't name him yet. And then all the other Ever Dreamers soon had pets. Like Sprinkles. Grape. And Dotty. Fact number six. Fact number six in series two comic world. The characters like Rosalie in comic world. In comic world, they are different pets. Rosalie's pet when uh, Ali is Rosa was created at the same time as comic world version of Rosalie. Comic World Rosalie with the, the Comic World Rosalie with the second Comic World character to be created. And Music World 2. They thought that the that in Comic World Rosalie should have should be featuring Ali only in Comic World. And they thought of Rosalie only featuring Dotty in Candy World. Same with all the other Ever Dreamers. Same with Music World as well. Like Clara. Sarah. And a, and a bunch of other Music World pets. But then, during the TV series... And when a few episodes later in season two, ooh, when the Ever Dreamers get home from Comic World, not in episodes, they decided to keep keep Dotty and Ali and even Clara in the same dream world. Same with all of the other Ever Dreamer pets. Fact number. I think next is fact number seven. The idea of Ever Dreamers was by Laura Jen. Laura had the idea to create Ever Dreamers. And she decided to voice Claire and Starlene. She doesn't voice Starlene anymore, but, but, but she used to in season one. So I lost Claire's dog sound. I think we'll have to find it. 
so they thought as ever dreamers was a as a show which is a very which is a bright and colourful show which is all about five girls who dream big the leader Rosalie she stands out in the middle of the Everdreamers order. And also, they decided to call it that also Everdreamers was originally going to be called Five Friends Dream Forever. Five Friends Dream Forever it was a very cool Ever Dreamers name to choose, and it's super fun. But then they switched it to Ever Dreamers because they thought it was more fitting for the Ever Dreamers. Cindy is a character who's seen lots in Ever Dreamers, and Cindy does not have a voice actress. Because all the songs Cindy sings are from Cindy's voice. Because Cindy is a pop star that the Everdreamers are a fan of. And she doesn't have a voice actress. Fact number eight is that... Bayona and Claire had a crazy relationship. Mm-mm. Because it all started like this. First of all, in series one, Claire and Bayona were very good friends. And in one episode, in in one of the episodes, when is when they had a big fight, and and Claire and Bayona decided to stop being friends forever. And then some episodes when Viona becomes rude to Claire. But Rosalie and Starlene were very good friends for Claire. But Edwina was on Viona's side. She liked Viona better than Claire. Also, Edwina and Claire are also different. Are different to each other. Because of their crazy relationship of Claire and Viona. Also, before this all started, and all the other dreamers used to be on Viona's side, but now none of them trusted her. And then, during one of Viona's shows, Claire eats all of Viona's cake. And Starlene wasn't there. And, and and that scene you couldn't see Starlene, but Biona are teamed up with Edwina and Rosalie to capture Claire. But but many of you think Starlene isn't in the scene. She actually was. She was peeking out of a wall watching the scene. And that's the part whenever she jumps in and is worried about Claire. And in the episode called Starlene Likes Claire now is whenever is whenever she talks to have a chat with Viona and Edwina. Uh, uh, and and have to put time out because cause during that time Starlene loved Claire. But many many of you are wondering, what about Rosalie? Rosalie was also in the scene, but she didn't put Rosalie in time out because Rosalie didn't want to capture Claire when she joined Viona, but Viona forced her to. Because in one scene, Rosalie goes, Um, Don't you think we're taking this too far? No. Well, 
But don't you want to get our clear get um, get all my cake back? Um, yeah. But we don't exactly have to capture Claire, do we? No. Yes, we do. Why? Because if we let her escape, she'll eat all my cake. Rosalie was wor was so worried. Feed and desire, and she felt so bad. And Starly noticed, so this she kept Rosalie. Also, later in the relationship. Claire is just sitting sadly in a corner. Starlene says something to Fiona. And it might look like this. I'm extremely sorry. Please don't dislike that. Um, hey Viona, come on. And she had another talk with Viona on the crazy relationship story. It's like this. Um, Claire. I mean, Viona, I. You used. Huh? What is it, Seraline? You used to be a very lovely, cheerful, kind friend. But now you've turned into some evil, um, mean, evil, rude girl. I don't even recognize you, her personality anymore. And then. I remember that one thing you said. Ed, I remember you saying, I look into the mini Viona in my brain. So maybe you should look now. I think something has changed in you. Just because of it, you think of Claire. Don't you say her name again. Uh, whatever, Claire. Ah! Starling, Claire, 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 Claire. See, you just... Just... I'm a go... She looks deep into her soul and her mind. Mm. Boop. Maybe I am doing something wrong. And then, in, in this episode, she secretly walks behind Claire. Um, Fiona, hello. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Well... I think I realize what I've done. Well, Diana. Before, I don't know if Claire's ready to talk to you yet, but I'm not. Hmm. Crazy, huh? Well, 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 Diana. Because you don't want to make Claire even more upset. Don't be. And maybe she should. Okay. And in, in one and one later episode in the TV series, Viona was missing in Starling. Sure. Okay, everybody, welcome to our dream contest. So let's see. One, two, three. Huh? Where's Vi? Where's Viona? Uh, mm. Yes, Claire? <laughs> Starling had the power to recover people. She got selected as Dream Queen. Uh, can you bring Fiona back? <gasps> they were shocked to see that Claire wanted Fiona to come back. And it's like she wanted Fiona to come. And she wanted Viona to apologize. And then, in the bed cover switches, Claire had Viona's bed covers. And in the instrument switch, Viona had Claire's instrument. Actually, in 
instruments which was uploaded while Claire was friends, but it was on. But it was created when there were enemies. We uploaded the ex ex instruments video a bit too late. And in the board game series, Claire and Diana had an arg had many arguments. I don't know if it had something to do with their past, but but Edwina was on Viona's side. Edwina wanted to help Viona, and in the third board game, she got the nice card, and she said that the nest of Viona. Rose only pushed Edwina down, and told, and then she said, Edwina. How dare you be nice to Viola? She's so mean. Cause, see? How? What do you think you're doing, Edwina? But I'm pretty, pretty princess. Huh. Before pretty, pretty princess. Huh. She tried to apologize to Claire again. Yeah. But an arm pulled her, Edwina pulled her back. And that was at the end of the episode. It was Star Clash. And a pretty pretty princess fall. Starling became her evil minion. Starling used to love Claire. And in the board game series, she disliked her. And she wasn't the one being nice to Claire. And then she was rude to Claire because Claire said, Well, I'm going to stand on the ground. I'm coming between. Starling, Starling, Starling. Viona! How pretty am I? I'm just looking at my Claire. No. I'm not Starling, but you didn't say I was pretty. Hmm. I think Viona is pretty. Obviously, Viona didn't hear that because Claire was talking quiet. But then Starling hated Viona. By the way, she didn't know that Claire was trying to apologize. That Claire and Viona tried to do something to get back together in their relationship. And when she kicked Claire again, Diana thought in her mind, and she said, Can you bring Claire back? Which was a reference to the episode when Claire goes, um, Can you bring Viona back? Can you bring Viona back? Oop. Oh, can you bring Claire back? Fact number nine. Starlene and Claire's relationship. They were both BFFs in season 1, 2, and 3 on the TV series. But it was just when in Pretty Pretty Princess episode board game 4 when they disliked each other. But in 3 and 1, but in Cindy, but in the episode Cindy in a Safe. Starlene helps the other dreamers to find the key. And then then and then Starlene and then Claire says, Maybe you're not so bad after all. And that was before the episode when Claire ate Viana's cake. Fact number ten. It's simply the other dreamers. All the other dreamers have different skirt shapes. Candy World Starlene has none of has the same skirt shape as none of the Candy World characters. She also does not have the same shape as her Comic World skirt. Or, or Claire's Comic World. Of, or, and she doesn't have the same skirt shape as of any of the comic world skirts. 
None of them are the same shape as Star as Candy World Star Leagues. Candy World Viona has the same skirt shape as Comic World Rosalie, and that's all for her. Candy World Rosalie has the same skirt shape as Edwina. She also has the same skirt shape as Comic World Claire. Claire has the skirt shape of, of, of Music World Rosalie, but you can see that the, uh, her skirt has two layers. Edwina. Comic World Starling skirt is the same as Comic World Viona's. This skirt that Comic World Edwina has is the same shape of this skirt that Music World Starling owns. And it's the same shape as Music World Edwina's skirt. Music World Starlene has looks like it has the same skirt shape as for normal Starlene, but it's not. Claire has the skirt shape of no other character. No Comic World or Candy World or Music World. And Viona in Music World. Viona in Music World. World over here. She doesn't wear any skirts. But she does wear about and a top. Thank you for watching this video about even more random facts about Everdream.